okay, okay. It is Crypto Faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless. Back at it again, guys. Go ahead, and give me a like on the way in. It's your favorite crypto vlog. If you haven't subscribed yet, give me a subscribe. Dropping new narratives, new gems, new altcoins, updates on your favorite coins every single day. Uh, and yeah, it's free content, guys. Go ahead, give me a subscribe. Today, I got a Zen update. X1 update. X1 is coming. X1 is near. Uh, pretty much, we got Jack basically saying, you know, you know, like, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. All right, we'll get into that. Anyway, we got um, the wider market, as usual. We got BTC sitting at 43400 Looking good. Everything is up. Looking really good, actually. Looking really good. I told you guys, once we um, go down to 37 k we're probably going to see a nice little uh you know uh support area there and we did we got back up to about um you know uh 40 something k and we jumped back into the range that we were sitting in for the past uh what like we had like a month we were sitting in between 41k and what was it 44k right now we're back in that range right now but right now we're at the higher level of that range we're at 43,400 uh last time i checked so if we you know do break above 40 4k uh to me that will be indicative of a higher move right we're probably gonna go back up to 49k and retest those uh uh the previous highs right that's my analysis of the market that's crypto faceless technical analysis uh yeah so we probably if we get above 43 44k sorry uh we'll probably be back up at 49k before you know it right um and we'll see. All right. So the alpha for right now, like I said in my last video, is buying up those coins that you want. Right now, you should be buying the coins that you like, right? Because <laughs> this is the most opportune time to buy them, okay? Uh, the having is right now. Um, well, it's not now, but it's coming up very, very soon. It's coming up in April. Uh, you don't have much time left. You have about a month, month and a half. Uh, and then I feel like those weeks and, you know, Prior to the halving, I think things will start to pick up for the altcoin. So I would say a month, month and a half right now is the time period where you're going to get the lowest prices for the next year or two years, right? I don't think we're going to see any lower prices in the altcoins than we see right now until the next bear market, to be honest, right? That's why I'm saying right now is the time to load up on the bags that you want, right? Not later on. It's right now, okay? Um, you want to have, you know, your bags packed free habit i can't stress like this is the alpha for the video guys i cannot stress how important it is to have your bags packed your main core bags packed before the having guys like those coins that you actually want to be like the coins that you hold for the rest of the cycle you need to have those packed before the pre uh before having pre having right before the having guys very important because you know after the having we if you look at the having year Every single cycle is, is crazy. It's up only. You're going to see, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 X your portfolio. It's going to be crazy. Um, but specifically after the having, like, let's say the few months after the having, though, we can say the summer uh, after the having. Uh, if we look back at the last bull market, the summer post having 2020, we saw DeFi summer, right? And DeFi summer was ridiculous right we saw crazy gains 20 30 40 50 100 x and these different DeFi protocols everybody was aping into different uh protocols trying to get yield trying to get this right it was a lot right it was a lot and that was the summer after the having like a few months after the having right uh we might see something very similar to that this time around guys we're probably going to see um you know something pop off in june july august of uh you know after the having and uh, it, it doesn't have to be DeFi. It could be DeFi. It could be, you know, a different narrative or it could just be all out alt season in all different categories of alts, right? It could be crazy, right? But the difference between getting a 2X or 3X or 4X or getting a 20X, 30X, 40X, 50X is when did you get your bags? When did you stack your core bags? Did you stack them pre-having, like where we're at right now? Or did you start to get them during the hype that's going to come post-having? Right. It's a big difference on like how much gains you're going to get. It's a big difference. You know, it all depends on when you get your bags. Like it, it's, it's all about timing, guys. It's very important. It's all about timing. OK, so, you know, uh, just let you know right now, just let you know, stack your bags pre-having. That's your, your 
your core bags, right? Anyway, let's get into Zen. Um, we got, uh, you know, X1 updates, you know what I'm saying? Uh, remember, X1 is going to be, it's going to push up Zen, guys. X1 is going to push up Zen, in my opinion, a thousand X. <laughs> a thousand X, man. I'm telling you, it's a thousand X because of X1. Okay, it's because of X1. So right now, Jack is in full promotion mode, right? He's in full promotion mode. I told you guys the last year he's been in developer mode, building mode. Right now, he is in full, full, full promotion mode, right? Remember, I told you he did an interview last week with Fred Krueger on Twitter. Um, you know, he's continuously posting about updates about X1 on his um, on his Twitter page. And, um, yeah, he's, all, he's posting every day about X1. Uh, which means it is near. It is near. It is near. All right. And he he wants to put it out at the having, guys. Like that's what. Like he, X one is coming out before the having. Like it's the most opportune time. Like in, in my last video about Titan X. Uh, shout out to Titan X. Uh, Jake actually, the founder of Titan X, said that he's coming out with um the uh, his coin hyper. You know, at the having or or before the having, actually before the having, right? And he's talking about how it's the most opportune time and. I feel like Jack Levin, right, has the same idea. Like, it's all the people want to come out with their coin at or around the having, right? Somewhere before the having or at the having, somewhere in that range, because that's the beginning of the bull market. That's when you're going to see the most X's. You don't want to come out like way during the bear market, like everybody thought that X1 was going to come out, you know, last year or way back in, you know, sometime in early 2023. But what would that have done for? uh the price right now it, it, it was a bear market like it would just be like you don't want to come out with a coin in the middle of a bear market right you want to come out at the most opportune time where it's going to get all of the eyes where it's going to get all of the attention where people are going to actually want to get it and it's going to keep going up right uh the having is the perfect time for that right so i feel like jack levin had the same idea like i'm gonna wait until the having to put this out um but right now he's you know it's ready it's ready like he's just testing the blockchain, right? Pretty much, right? So uh, what better time than having year, right? We're in the having year right now. Go check the charts. Every single having year is up only, right? That's when you start seeing your whole portfolio go up 20x, 30x, 40x, 50x, and more, right? So anyway, uh, Jack, a couple of days ago, actually posted um, new docs um, about X1 uh, on his Twitter page. He said, uh, new docs are out. Um, see how to burn X1, uh, see how to become, sorry, see how to become an X1 node validator, okay? And then he posted the link uh, to uh, the docs.zen.network, uh, basically telling you all information that you need to know about how you can actually become a, a X1 uh, node validator about X1. Like I told, he's in full promotion mode right now, okay? He also tweeted out that he's, um, he's running um, load tests right now on 333 nodes. Um, and he also put a, you know, a screenshot, he posted a screenshot of the, uh, block explorer. Um, yeah, he's in test mode right now. Final testing, stress testing the system. Um, uh, he posted the maximizing throughput and he also posted the block explorer, uh, the block explorer. And basically right, right now he's in load testing. He's in testing phase. And we already know that this thing is the most stress test blockchain ever, right? Cause you remember Jack came out with um, Zen on every single blockchain as a test net. Like that was the whole idea. Put Zen on every single blockchain. Let's see if we can like break blockchains. And we actually did break some blockchains. <laughs> some blockchains actually decided to actually not trade Zen for a while because they're like, this is too much. It's like for our, 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 our blockchain couldn't, couldn't hold the network, couldn't hold the stress, um, couldn't keep up with that many transactions. Uh, which is why Zen actually got a lot of hate at the beginning. But anyway, uh, by doing that and having Zen on every single blockchain, it allowed Jack to actually see what was good about certain uh, blockchains and what was bad about certain blockchains. Right? It was able. Uh, he was able to basically um, stress test every single blockchain and see, you know, the good features and the bad features, and then implement that in X1. So we already know he's testing right now. He's stress testing, but we already know. X1 is going to be crazy. Like, <laughs> X1 is going to be crazy. Um, it's going to be one of the most modern, one of the most um, uh, technical and innovative blockchains, you know, out.
especially this time around using inscriptions and ordinals and implementing POS and POW. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. X1 is going to be crazy, guys. People are going to want it, and it's going to take Zen up 1,000x. I'm telling you right now, Zen is a 1,000x coin, and we're going to see that probably by the end of this year. Be honest, probably by the end of this year, maybe the beginning of 2025, but that's my prediction. Anyway, guys, it's Crypto Faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'm out. Take care.